Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Today I'm going to be painting the frame for the Ford mower. All right, so right here I've got the engine set up to start here. I've just got it rigged up here with a, a push start. So you can see like that. And I did have, I did get this to start. I'll show a quick clip of that right now. And I did run it for more than just that little bit there. All I really wanted to do was get a look at the pulleys running and the belt and all that sort of stuff and make sure the clutch is working properly, which it seemed to be working pretty, pretty well. The only really issue was something that I already knew about, and that's this jack shaft right there. I don't have any axle lockers on there to keep it from moving up and down. So you can see I can, I can push it down a little bit there and then it does, it does move a little bit, but I have some nice one inch axle lockers from Go Power Sports, so I'll be putting those on there and that should solve that problem. I don't have a kill switch set up on here. What you saw me do at the end of that quick video was I had this wire in right here. You can see that. And you hear when I put that in, it, it, it actuates a little um, solenoid, I guess you'd call it, at the bottom of the carburetor bowl right here. And when there's current going to that, it drops a little thing that allows fuel to go up into the jet. When there's no current going to this, the it blocks the fuel off from the carburetor. So that was just kind of what I used as a kill switch. And it worked there just for, just for the testing purposes. So anyways, what I'm gonna do right now is um, get rid of all the starting stuff again and I can disassemble everything now and I'll get it all parted out, ready, ready to paint. I still, and I need, I'm gonna to need to clean the frame off a lot as well.
All right, so the frame now is all painted, pretty much completely assembled. The only thing I have to do is um, install the pulley on the engine and then get this front, this front um, belt up in there. Um, other than that though, it's pretty much all assembled. I think it's this looks really nice and now I won't need to worry about um, disassembling the frame in the future. Now that this is pretty much completely done now, um, I can just focus on everything around it and I won't have to worry about having to paint this as well in the future. And that will just make things a lot easier because disassembling and reassembling everything is very time consuming and I like to do that as little as possible. So this will really help out with that. So now that this is done, I'll be able to move on next to probably hooking up the steering wheel, um, getting the, the, the dashboard and the fenders mounted, figuring out a place for a seat, and then, and then after that I'll get the um, throttle cables and that, that stuff hooked up. And I also need to figure out somewhere to put a gas tank, somewhere to put a battery, um, and that sort of stuff. So now, as I've said, the frame is done, the whole drive system's done, I'm, I'm past the hard part, so I'm really excited for this, I can't wait to ride it. It shouldn't be too long before I can slap some wheels on there and take this thing for a, for a quick ride. So, anyways, that's all I have for you today, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.